In this video, we're going to go over a couple of errors and issues uh, revolving around ribbon. Um, it doesn't matter what ribbon printer you're using. Um, every one I've ever worked on, Zebras, Fargos, Data Cards, you name it. If you are using ribbon, it will eventually break. Um, it's not common. It, it, if it's a common thing with your printer, it's an issue, but it occasionally will happen. Um, and it doesn't even really matter the age, even on new printers. So um, I've cut the ribbon in this printer just for this video for these purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, send a print, I mean, a test card, so that we can see the actual error. And then we'll go over what to do with the ribbon, how to reattach it. Alright, so you'll get something like a check ribbon 97, I think it's a 129, there's several errors you can get with the, uh, with the ribbon. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up. The first thing you're going to want to do is just check. And so as we can see here, the ribbon is cut. So I'm sure there's a lot of different techniques, this is just the one that I've found that is the easiest. Adjust this down so we can see. All right. What I like to do is first of all on this take up reel is smooth out, turn it a few times, just run your finger over it, kind of smooth it out. Then on the supply side, turn it to the bottom and find, find the end. It's going to go on the outside over all four of these metal rollers like so. The easiest way I've found to do it is extend it beyond that to this flat portion on this side. Static electricity will um, keep it there. So just get a piece of scotch tape. You don't want it to be long enough that it extends beyond, but just enough that it covers the majority of the, uh, the width of the ribbon. And then just set it on there carefully so that you don't have any wrinkles or alright so now set it back on on the bottom the way that it would go into the printer this is the up arrow take the bottom spool the supply and turn it backwards now what I do is I set the the ribbon down with the tape beyond where I, I don't just put the tape on because then you have a, an issue of maybe getting it skewed so I put it down to where it's not sticking yet and then I center the ribbon on the take up and then I'll take the take up the bottom one and I'll roll it backwards and then and then stick it and that way you get it centered on the on the used take up ribbon and you're not getting wrinkles and things in there and then just give it a couple of turns. Doesn't take a lot. Like, do four panels. Then we'll go ahead and adjust that back up. Set it back into your. Kind of get all the wrinkles out. Twist it on the take up till it's not going to snag on the ribbon. Go ahead and insert it back into your printer, hit resume, and that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead in, the, in, the, in another video talking about the, uh, the calibration and the, sometimes you need to recalibrate the, the ribbon sensor in this printer, but it's very it's a very simple process for doing that um, and once you do it two or three times you'll be a be an expert at it that's all there is to it